नमस्कार आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस टुडे सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ कंडक्टोमेट्रिक मेजरमेंट्स नाउ द कंडक्टोमेट्री इज वाइडली यूज इन द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ आयनिक प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वाटर सोल्यूबिलिटी ऑफ स्पैरिंगली सोल्यूबल सॉल्ट एंड थर्ड वन डिग्री ऑफ डिसोशिएशन और आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ वीक एसिड सो लेट एस डिस्कस ईच एप्लीकेशन इन डिटेल फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन इज to determine ionic product of water as we know the water is a weak electrolyte and it dissociates as so this water h2o is diso is undergoing dissociation into h plus ion and hydroxyl ion h plus and oh minus this is cation and this is the anion and due to it is weak electrolytes okay there is there will be the equilibrium between ionized portion of the water and unionized portion of the water so therefore for this chemical reaction the equilibrium constant is given by so equilibrium constant is given in the capital letter so equilibrium constant is nothing but the ratio of concentration of product to the concentration of reactant at constant temperature and this ratio is constant and this constant is called as the equilibrium constant this k is equal to concentration of this is the ionic product so this is the uh, product of concentration of product h plus and oh minus to the ratio of to the uh, concentration of the reactant so let us say this is the equation number 1 now since the dissociation of water is very very less so practically the concentration of water remains constant so let us take this h2o to the left hand side then we get therefore k into h2o is equal to concent product of concentration of product such as concentration of h plus into concentration of oh minus now this product k into concentration of h2o is nothing but kw and this kw is called as the ionic product of water kw is called as ionic product of water which is equal to k into h2o so therefore kw is equal to concentration of h plus into concentration of the oh minus let us say this is our equation number 2 now how to find out the ionic product of water okay we have understood what is mean by kw now how to find out the value of kw so it is calculated in two steps first step is determination of degree of dissociation or degree of ionization so at 25 degree celsius the equivalent conductance of water is this is the equivalent conductance of water is equal to specific conductance into the volume of water so ls stands for the specific conductance of water and which is observed to be 0.58 into 10 to the minus 7 mo per centimeter v stands for the volume of water in centimeter cube containing 1 gram equivalent of the water now let us calculate the value of v so we know the density of water at 25 degree celsius is 0.9971 gram per centimeter cube one mole of water is equal to 1 gram equivalent of water which is equal to 18.016 gram of the water so one mole correspond to 1 gram equivalent and which is equal to 18.016 gram since density is equal to mass upon volume this is the formula of density density is equal to mass upon volume so therefore make rearrange this equation so we get volume is equal to mass upon density which is equal to 18.016 upon 0.9971 if we solve this division then we get volume is equal to 18.068 cm cube now <coughs> ls value we know and we have calculated the value of v okay ls and v let us put this in this equation then we get okay therefore look at here equivalent conductance at given concentration is equal to ls into v putting the value of ls and v then we get value of equivalent conductance so therefore the equivalent conductance at given concentration lambda is equal to 1.07 into 
टेन रेस टू माइनस सिक्स पर ओहम पर सेंटीमीटर द इक्वल कंडक्टन्स एट इन्फाइट डायल्यूशन दैट इज लैमडा इन्फिनिटी इज कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम कोहरलॉश लॉ विच इज इक्वल टू लैमडा इन्फिनिटी ऑफ वॉटर इज इक्वल टू लैमडा इन्फिनिटी ऑफ एच प्लस आयोन एंड लैमडा इन्फिनिटी ऑफ ओ एच माइनस आयोन सो दिच लैमडा इन्फिनिटी फॉर एच प्लस वैल्यू इज थ्री फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट एट एंड दैट ऑफ द ओ एच माइनस इज वन नाइंटी एट पॉइंट जीरो इफ वी डू इट्स देन वी गेट देर फोर लैमडा इन्फिनिटी इज इक्वल टू फाइव फोर्टी सेवन पॉइंट एट पर ओहम सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर नाउ वी नो द लैमडा ओके लैमडा सी और लैमडा वी एंड लैमडा इन्फिनिटी देन फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन कैलकुलेट द डिग्री ऑफ डिसोशिएशन अल्फा okay the formula of alpha is lambda v upon lambda infinity so which is equal to 1.07 into 10 raised to minus 6 upon 547.8 if we okay do this mathematical operation then we get value around this so therefore degree of dissociation or ionization is 1.97 into 10 raised to minus 9 now second step is determination of ionic product of the water okay since yes we have derived kw is equal to product of concentration of h plus into concentration of oh minus now let us calculate the value of concentration of hydrogen ion and value of concentration of hydroxyl ion the mass of 1 liter of water is observed to be 997.07 g at 25 degree celsius The mass of one mole of water is eighteen point zero sixteen gram. Now, the number of moles present in one liter of water will be how much? Number of moles of H two O in one liter equal to mass of water divided by molecular weight of the water. Okay, and the mass of one liter is equal to nine nine seven point zero seven, and one mole of water mass is eighteen point zero sixteen gram. If we do the division, then we get fifty five point thirty four. moles now the concentration of uh, hydrogen and oh minus are same so is which is equal to concentration into degree of dissociation or degree of ionization so therefore which is equal to 55.34 into alpha okay alpha value is 1.91 into 10 raised to minus 9 just we have calculated now the question can arise in your mind that we have calculated the concentration in 55.34 moles but remember that water is a weak electrolyte and this water cannot dissociates completely so only fragment or in some portion water will be dissociated therefore its concentration will be c into alpha that is concentration into degree of dissociation this will give you exact concentration if we do this multiplication then the concentration of h plus and oh minus ion is observed to be 1.05 into 10 raised to minus 7 now let us put this value in this ionic product equation therefore kw is equal to 1.05 into 10 raised to minus 7 and into 1.05 into 10 raised to minus 7 so if we do this multiplication then we get value of ionic product of water 1.1 into 10 raised to minus 14 so in this way the ionic product of water is calculated okay let us uh, quickly revise so how ionic product is uh, ionic product of water is calculated so write down the equilibrium reaction then write down equilibrium constant equation okay then concentration of h2o is constant okay then multiply this k into concentration then we get this value is kw and kw is called as ionic product of the water so this is calculated in two step first step is determination of alpha and second step is determination of kw okay that is the ionic product of the water now let us move further second conductometric application is to determine solubility of sparingly soluble salt solubility of sparingly soluble salt now what is meant by a solubility okay solubility is nothing but the amount of solute dissolved per 100 ml of water or per liter of the water how much your solute gets dissolved 
in given quantity of solvent is called as the solubility sparingly soluble salt okay sparingly means the solubility is less okay or whose solubility uh, is far far less than normal salt now a saturated solution of sparingly soluble salt such as agcl calcium sulfate etc is prepared in water and the water is specific or known water okay whose specific conductance we know so water is taken of known specific conductance now the specific conductance of salt sparingly soluble salt is measured and therefore the specific conductance of salt will be equal to sum of specific conductance of salt plus specific conductance of the water this is the total conductance of the solution containing the salt okay and it will be composed of salt as well as the water so therefore the specific conductance of salt is equal to total conductance minus conductance by water this will give us a constant uh, value of ls now from the values of specific conductance equivalent conductance of the salt is determined so therefore equivalent conductance at given concentration is equal to 1000 into specific conductance of salt divided by c where c stands for concentration of salt in equivalents per liter okay and this is c is nothing but called as the solubility so since the solution is dilute the lambda value is nothing but the equivalent conductance at infinite dilution so therefore lambda infinity is equal to let us replace this lambda by lambda infinity then we get 1000 into specific conductance of salt divided by c therefore c is equal to 1000 ls upon lambda infinity so just put the value of salt okay this is the standard value given in the laboratory manual just put this value of salt and find out different values of specific conductance for different concentration and from that we can determine the exact value of concentration okay so or solubility the sparingly soluble solubility of sparingly soluble salt will be equal to this much 1000 into ls upon lambda infinity last application is determination of dissociation of weak acid now consider a weak acid this is the acetic acid is a, one of the weak acid so it will dissociate partially into acetate ion and h plus ion so this is the equilibrium so initial concentration will be let us say c and concentration of acetate ion and h plus will be zero so at equilibrium what will happen only certain fraction of acetic acid will dissociates okay and let's say alpha is the degree of dissociation or fraction of salt fraction of acid undergoing dissociation so remaining fraction will be how much one minus alpha here so the equilibrium concentration will be okay so degree of ionization into the concentration okay here will be one minus alpha into c and here c alpha into c alpha since this is the equilibrium reaction equilibrium reaction therefore the equilibrium constant will be ka is equal to h plus into concentration of acetate ion divided by concentration of acetic acid let us put this value c alpha into c alpha upon 1 minus alpha into c which is equal to alpha square into c upon 1 minus alpha now alpha stands for the degree of dissociation or degree of ionization so therefore alpha is equal to lambda v upon lambda infinity so we know the alpha okay lambda infinity is standard value and we can calculate from the laboratory manual and lambda v cal value can we can find out from the experiment just we have find out here this is from the experiment now the lambda v value is equal to 1000 into ls upon c c stands for the concentration okay and this is the uh, lambda infinity value from laboratory manual or the kohlroos law so these three are the fundamental applications of conductivity
applications of conductance measurement in the determination of ionic product of water then sparingly soluble salt solubility determination and degree of dissociation of weak acids so thank you for watching this session subscribe and like this channel to get notification of further videos thank you